So I would like to transport all of you to the West Australian wheat belt. I would like you to imagine that you are a farmer and you have to choose which seed to sow for this year's crop. Now this is an important decision and it's also a very stressful decision. Um, as this crop could determine not only your mortgage, but your family's livelihood. However, once the seeds germinate and you have these baby plants growing in your field, there's actually not a lot you can do to determine the fate of these plants. These baby seedlings have to face heat stress, cold stress, drought, um, pathogens and pests and diseases. And so if you're sitting there and you're watching these plants, it could be very stressful considering this determines your family's livelihood. So as plant breeders and plant scientists, we've tried to breed crops that can fight off drought or fight off pests and diseases, but it's actually very hard to combine both of those traits into one plant. And that's because we generally select a plant that is good at drought or is good at fighting pests, but combining them is very difficult. But what if we could? What if we could combine multiple traits into a single plant? If we could have a plant that could respond to each challenge as it faced throughout the growing season. So for the last 15 years, I've spent my time in research working on how to change plant gene expression. I can control single pathways and turn them on and off. But now, with the advent of CRISPR, we can now actually integrate multiple pathways and perform a kind of logic inside a plant. So with these logic gates down here, we can create genetic DNA circuits. And these circuits integrate all the multiple pathways to enact a response that's required at the time that it is needed. And by doing so, the plant can use all of its resources to fight that particular pest and then use its resources to fight drought. This technology wouldn't be possible without CRISPR, and so we hope to make smart plants in the future for fighting various stresses. Now you might be thinking, I don't actually want genetic circuits or CRISPR in my food. I mean, this guy's crazy. But there are actually many different applications for these circuits. And what I'm about to do is provide choice for both farmers and consumers. So plants produce a lot of helpful things, such as vaccines, fragrances, pharmaceuticals. And there are now producing plants that can fight Ebola, the influenza viruses, a whole bunch of different medicines and cosmetics that people wear. So if this research was supported further, we would use high throughput robots to design better switches for all of these applications. And so that we can transition ourselves to a greener economy and give farmers and, and consumers choice in what they use. Thank you very much.